welcome. I mean, of course, the happy evil was ready for his third adventure. The Shadow of Absolute Evil. The Shadow of Absolute Evil had crossed the sea and now sought the chosen target, a dark elf named Talia. A long, long time ago. The Absolute Evil had, in the famous predecessor to this game, subjugated the known world and defeated good. Now, in a world full of blackness and despair, it spent its days sipping cocktails from the skulls of its enemies and forging new plans over a grilled unicorn kebab. Unfortunately, there wasn't much left to forge. A few orc wedges? The occasional trick played on the little snots? There just wasn't anything left to conquer. As the weeks and months passed, the absolute evil grew ever more reticent and seclusive. From time to time, one could hear a slight murmur from the depressed evil's super-secret, secret laboratory in the depths of the dungeon. Its creatures grew more worried with each passing day, and even started to miss its ingenious evil tricks. It was a somewhat confusing time for them. No beatings, no torture, and no being sent to a senseless death. On the other hand, it was a rather nice change. Eons passed, and the unicorn supply dwindled until suddenly, one wonderful day, the evil genius evil joyfully burst from its super secret secret laboratory. It finally had a new goal, an unknown continent, as often found in sequels, lay to the east, sheltered from the wicked evil by naught but a puny little ocean. It immediately had a fleet built. This was so powerful that it covered the horizon from north to south and was manned by the best and most powerful creatures at the devious evil's command. The fleet set sail for the crossing to this new continent, left the harbor, and sank. Yet that mattered naught to the couldn't give a hoot about its minions evil. It instructed its goblins and little snots to design an even more powerful fleet. These new ships were gigantic. Loaded with Devious Evil's second best creatures, the fleet set out. And that sank as well. The annoyed evil saved his relentless anger towards the shipbuilders for later. Obviously, it would have to take care of the matter itself. With a sigh, it cast a spell and created a shadow of itself, a creature of absolute darkness and evilness. This shadow flew across the water towards the east. There, it would find a vessel, a corruptible being that would subjugate this land in the name of evil, and the shadow had the perfect target in mind. The great paladin Thanos, hero of the totally eastern kingdoms and a repugnantly good fellow. He was visiting the fatiguing library in Tristram with his comrades to see his foster daughter Talia. Well now, Talia, tell me about your studies. Are you making progress with the writings of the ancient sages? Yes, dear father. I have thoroughly digested it and have come a step closer to the good. The desire within me to do evil is defeated. Really? <laughs> Excellent. I am proud of you, my child. Continue to concentrate on your studies. I must go to Stormbreeze to clear up a few matters. I'll be back soon. In the meantime, my loyal friend Grimly will protect the country. Should anything trouble you, you can turn to him. Isn't that right, Grimly? Aye, of course, Thanos. I'll keep an eye on the damned elf. You, I mean, your daughter. You can count on me. 
Then I'll see you soon, my friends. May the goddess watch over you, and the light burn eternally. Bon voyage, dear father. I'll make you so proud of me. Who does good is good. Yuck. Disgusting phrases like that always leave such a nasty taste in my mouth. These abnormally good heroes, on the other hand, had no inkling of the malignity gathered to the south. One moment a herd of sheep was peacefully grazing, and the next moment, whomph! With a fulminant explosive effect that ate up half our special effects budget, the shadow entered the world. His target, a dark elf caught between good and evil, was very close. As the shadow of the unspeakably evil evil moved through the world, all around it died. Plants withered. Animals perished. Sort of like a picnic with my family. The shadow of the far-off evil found itself very, very close to Twistrum. It could practically feel its target's presence. Take these lanterns, men, and let the light of the goddess shine. For the night is dark and full of terrors, and there's a pile of horse poo around here somewhere. I trod in it earlier. For the darkness! Uh, 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 I, mean, I mean, for the, for the light! Sorry, <laughs> I'm still in training. <laughs> uh... Yes, well, that is somewhat suboptimal. Naturally, the shadow of the almighty evil was an incredibly powerful creature. But, well, light was a bit of an issue. It would certainly be wise to stay out of the lantern light. Lanterns! Lanterns everywhere! Lanterns! You'd think some nutcase hung them all over the place just to be irritating. I'm supposed to be the evil one here. <sighs> Whatever, the shadow of the nestled cosily before the fireplace evil was extremely sensitive to light and would inevitably take damage from it. It was important to avoid light as much as possible. The shadow reached the entrance to Twistrum. Fortunately, this one was not closed, but it was brightly lit. Luckily, there was an unfortunate guard on patrol that the Shadow was able to possess, thanks to its incredible powers. As long as it wasn't in the light. The Shadow of Absolute Evil melded with the guard and took control of his body. Thus, it was able to pass through the gate with ease. Uh, what was that? I think there was something wrong with that last beer. Unfortunately, the Shadow's possession only lasted a short while before the guard was able to free himself. Still, it was long enough to get past the gate. The Shadow's target was close. So close. Talia, the Dark Elf. Soon she would fight on the side of evil. <laughs> May the goddess be with you, my friends. It will soon be time to open the orphanage in the fatiguing library. Come to the big square and join in the festivities. Well, I don't know. I had actually kind of planned to spend the evening in the bathhouse. Friends, this orphanage is very important to my father. Thanos, you know. The mighty paladin, the one you really don't want to offend. Uh, yeah, all right, all right, we'd love to come. Excellent! May the light of the goddess shine upon you, and let us experience this exhilarating spectacle in the big square together. Follow me, my friends, for evil at uh, the, 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 the light, I mean. <laughs> Keep the light burning bright, for the night is dark and full of terriers or... Errors or th th something like that.
Stop holding the lantern in my face like that, boy. I am Grimley, King of the Dwarves, and I am used to the cold, dark tunnels under the mountains. I have no need of any stupid lamp shining into me eyes. Now I'm stuck with that damn pointy... In the distance, one could hear the unbearably good bells of a church. They must be marking the opening of the orphanage in the fatiguing library. Heroes! With lanterns began to stream in that direction. The crossing on a red signal evil shadow swore, or would have if it had a mouth, and tried to avoid the lanterns as much as possible. Finally, finally, the time had come and the shadow of the passes in the slow lane evil was within range of Talia, the dark elf. The time had come for it to use its incredible powers to possess her for a short time. My dear father would be very proud were he with us today. He would be overjoyed to see us give the young and the needy a place to live and thrive. That's why I'm happy to take this orphanage and this orphanage and destroy it utterly and all of you with it. She said. Die! I'll tear you to pieces. <sighs> I, I feel the power within me. Oh, it, it, it's over 9,000! Unimagined powers surfaced in Talia. The black magic of the Dark Elves. She immediately began to unleash these powers of chaos upon the world. I will kill you all! The Dark Elf raged through Twistrum's inexperienced guards. She thereby built up a tremendous inner energy, which she released into the world as a focus beam, while screaming, Kamehameha! Meanwhile, in the fatiguing library, they waited eagerly with coffee and cake for Talia to show up and open the new orphanage. The energy beam hit the cake with a resounding zap and reduced it to ashes. Oh yes, and the rest of the building and everyone inside it as well. The narcissistic evil patted itself on the shoulder for this. Or it would have, but the metal armor always made such a terrible clonking noise when it tried. But then again, that's what little snots are for. Obviously, the dispatch shadow had found a perfect vessel in the Dark Elf. Talia had already earned the title of Employee of the Month, with the utter destruction of the fatiguing library, as well as half of Twistrum. The destruction of an orphanage and the bombardment of innocent citizens with magic missiles immediately made her the minion wasting evil's new favorite hench person. Her evil deeds complete, Talia withdrew into the vaults beneath the ruins of the fatiguing library. There, 
Between the slaughterhouse and mad Archbishop Lazarus's apartments, she prepared to create something powerful in the name of the absolutely, ultimately evil, evil. A dungeon heart, the cornerstone of any dungeon's power. Far away, Paladin of Light and Talia's former mentor, Thanos, was on his way to the Empire's capital of Stormbreeze. Naive and trusting as he was, he was whistling cheerfully to himself with no inkling of his foster daughter's dark deeds. Though he was aware that as a dark elf, she always had a core of evil in her. He had hoped to defeat it through religious indoctrination with ancient mad writings. Well, old bean, you thought wrong. <laughs> Twistrum in ruins, Talia, the Dark Elf, had turned to evil and laid the fatiguing library in ruins. Now she began to build a small power base in its vaults, her first dungeon.